Welcome back. Welcome back. You are listening to Whistle Weekends on AM 1170. The answer, my name is Kyle Whistle, your host with Whistle Realty Group, joined by Mr. Keith Bryan, also part of the team. And our guest we were talking to before the break, Tyler, with Cal Coast Credit Union. If you guys want to learn more about Cal Coast, you need an auto loan. Uh, you want to take advantage of a 9% CD that they have right now. Give us a call. Shoot us a text. We'll get you connected. 619-663-SELL. 619-663-7355. So, Keith, I want to turn the attention over to the real estate side of things. And I want to bring up two headlines that I saw in my phone in the last 24 hours. And these headlines are, are kind of kind of a big deal. So the first headline I, I saw come across, this is from Fox 5 News, at an average of $2,997, let's just call it three grand, the cost of renting an apartment in San Diego is up more than 16% from mm. last year. 16% increase. And what that article doesn't touch on is that that's probably 16% increase over the 16% from increase the from the year before that. And then another 10 or 16% from the year before that. And what we're seeing in the the rental market over the course of the, the last 10 years is every year rents are going up and up and up. Now, on the flip side, in real estate, oftentimes people think that renting is the cheaper option because they're not having to come in with a down payment or they think their credit score is messed up or they're just not going to qualify for a loan. But little do they know for nearly the same amount of money, the $3,000 a month for a two-bedroom, two-bath rental here in San Diego, you could get a, well, what did we decide this morning? Was it a three-bedroom, one-bath house? Uh Three bedroom, condo. one and a half bath, bath condo or townhouse with a garage, including your t- your taxes and your insurances for the same amount of money. So if you're or out less. there, or less, or less, that's pretty good. Yeah, and so if you find yourself in a position that you're out there and you're renting right now and you've experienced this rental increase over the last couple of years, give us a call over here at Whistle Realty so we can also put you in touch with Tyler Boyett over at California Coast Credit Union and get you pre-qualified and to sit down to take a look and. S- uh, no. I was going to say, you mentioned, you know, um, some people not having that down payment yes. to pay for a home. Um, we have a like an in-house product that we kind of do on our own. It's a zero down, zero PMI loan. So there's no mortgage interest and no money down. Um, I think the max we're doing is 450000 So, Wow. So there you go. Perfect combination. You can go out, instead of renting now and putting your money into somebody else's pocket and paying somebody else's mortgage. Give us a call. Look us up online. We'd love to sit down with you and to take a look and show you what kind of buying options you have here in San Diego for that same amount of that $3,000 a month. Yeah, you can give us a call. 619-663-SELL. 619-663-7355. So the other article that I read is mortgage rates drop to a new 14-month low. So you've got rents that are shooting up through the roof. And you've got mortgage rates coming back down. And so if you're listening to the show right now and and you're renting, you know, unless you're in some weird sweetheart situation, that your rent went up in the last year and it probably went up two years ago and it probably went up three years ago and it probably went up four years ago. I mean, the cost to rent's insane. Like we record the show here near UTC. I used to rent an apartment across the street at Costa Verde and I was paying 900 bucks a month. That same place now is almost $3,000 a month. Unreal. You know what's crazy is, guess what happens? If I bought a home back when I used to live at Costa Verde? You'd still be paying $900 a month today. And my mortgage was $900 a month then. Guess what my mortgage would be today? It'd still be $900 a month. Yeah. So one of the things that people fail to consider is they're not thinking about these rental increases and the not fact they're just looking at, well, where am I at today? And what is my mortgage going to be? And, and they're like, well... I'm renting for three grand a month. My mortgage is going to be thirty five hundred bucks. Like I can't afford that. That extra five hundred bucks. Well, if we even go up half of what we did this past year, let's just say we go up eight mm-hmm. percent. I mean, eight percent on three thousand. That's still a lot of money. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're it's another two hundred forty dollars. You're going to see a two hundred forty dollar increase. So now your your five hundred dollar delta, your yes. difference is almost cut in half just in a year. Right. And then it's let's assume it goes up eight percent the year after that. Now you're paying more in rent. So even though it, it might be a tiny bit of a stretch today, yes. in two years from now, you're actually going to probably be better off than you were you know, in the first place. Absolutely. And then the other thing that I think people fail to consider a lot of times is the fact there's actually some tax incentives 
to own a home, right? Yes. If you're renting, now you might be able to finagle something and claim like part of your house is a home office and write a little something off, but you're not getting the write-offs that you're getting when you own a property. Absolutely. In addition to getting the write-offs too, every year you're paying down towards the principal on your mortgage and that's a form of forced savings. So you have that locked in payment every month. You don't have that rate increase that you have in a rental. You have that forced savings. You have the appreciation of your home. So over the five, 10, 15 years, the amount of money that you paid out in renting, at the end of that time period, you have absolutely zero equity, no money in pocket at all. Whereas if you socked away that money for you know five, 10 years, you're gonna have several hundred thousand dollars in appreciation, pay down principal in your pocket. A great form of for savings and you know for the younger generations out there uh for those that are born after 1995 <laughs> after, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bum, bum, uh, we highly encourage you uh, to give consideration to home ownership because it's one of the best ways to start investing for your long-term future i mean it really is it, it's just insane to think about though like think about that place you were renting before you bought and think about you know, every time you get that rental increase notice, you're like, dang it, dang it. And here's what's funny is your landlord, when they give you that rental increase notice, now they're getting $3,000 a month from you, where last year they were getting 2800 bucks a month from you. And then next year they're going to get 3200 bucks a month from you, 34. Their payment's not changing. No, it doesn't. The only thing that's changing is their cash flow. Absolutely. And their cash flow is changing in a positive direction. I mean, I, I hit my property manager up, and I, I feel like a jerk. Apparently, I'm I'm not raising my rents enough because 16 percent. I raising them like 10 percent. I mean, I to call my property manager. I mean, I, I feel a little bit like a jerk to call and raise my tenants' rent every year. But that's that's what's happening. Mm-hmm. I mean, the the market rent is increasing. I mean, 16 percent. That's a lot of money. And just think for a minute for those In that are year. that are out there renting. It's December 1st, and your landlord comes to you or your property manager comes to you with that notice of rent increase. Now you're at this impasse. What are you going to do? You're either going to stay and you're going to pay it, right? Or you're going to say, well, screw that. I'm out of here. And you're going to go down the street and look for a rental. And guess what? It's way more expensive way than you more, think. Yeah. You actually realize we've had a lot of my tenants do that where you give them the rental increase notice. They're like, screw you. You're right? a jerk. And a week later, they're like, and they're like, yeah, we're out of here. We're done with you. Screw you. And then they come back a week later. Uh, can we still have the place? Uh, we're sorry. <laughs> yep. like, because that's what they realize. They, they think that you're screwing them over, but your 10% increase was actually on the so nice too. side relative to the 16% that the market's going up. And that, yeah. that's, that's so crazy. I know. 3000 bucks a month. But hey, I guess you know minimum wage is going up. It's like eleven fifty, twelve bucks an hour, depending on the size of the company. It's going to get to fifteen bucks an hour. So, you know, as that that bottom raises up, it's only natural that rentals go up alongside it. Absolutely. So yeah, I mean, if you're listening to the show, you're still renting. You're getting these ten, fifteen, twenty percent increases every single year. You're sick of getting those. Let us help you. We want to help you out. We can get you connected with Jason over at Team Home Loans or Tyler over at CalCoast. We can get you connected with these guys and be that resource for you. Give us a call. Shoot us a text. We can sit down and do a rent versus buy analysis for you. And we can look at what are you paying in rent and what could you afford if you were to go out there and buy based on you know a variety of factors. But more importantly, we a lot of times like to work backward where you say, hey, this is the number that I'm comfortable paying on a monthly basis. And then we can work backwards to figure out what is that price point that we should be targeting. And then once we nail that down, now we can go show you some homes that fit that price point that you need to target yep. to match your budget. And everything is is beautiful. Absolutely. So we, we love, love, love the opportunity to help you with that. Again, give us a call. Shoot us a text, 619-663-SELL, 619-663-7355. What else is going on in the market, Keith? Well, let's take a look. Um, number of home sales that are, are slightly up. The number of homes that are going up for sale are also increasing. So I think it's a great time for those that are out there who are looking to buy a home at this time. Inventory has increased. To a few more options out there for our buyers, uh, for our sellers that are on the market. Uh, it's a great time with interest rates still low. It's incentivizing to the buyers to want to go out there and write real strong offers on home sales. Think of the market right now, and then with the lower interest rates and some of these no money down loans that are available for whether you're a first time buyer or if you're looking for uh, investment property, it's a great time to sit down with one of the professionals over at Whistle Realty and to talk to go through that business plan. Like you know, Kyle, you're talking about the this doing the rent buy versus comparison, and right away, I think of 
how the agents over at Whistle Realty, they go above and beyond your typical agent who sits down and says, well, here's this website, take a look, find a house, and then when you find a house, give me a call and we'll go and show you the house. And that's kind of like the extent of their involvement. But what you're talking about really here is people sitting down with a qualified agent and actually looking at their finances with a lender and coming up with a business plan and a financial strategy, not only just to help them solve their uh, immediate housing needs, but also to help them build a financial plan using real estate for an investment for building long-term uh, financial wealth within their homes. I love it. I love it. So if you're listening to the show again, you want to get connected. I'd love to set you up with Keith. Give us a call. Shoot us a text, 619-663-SELL, 619-663-7355. Let's take advantage of the opportunity that's out there right now. You know, and you mentioned inventory going up. The inventory is going up a lot steeper when it comes to the higher end homes. So there's kind of this little opportunity where if you've got, you know, a cookie cutter home, five, six, seven hundred thousand, you can sell that. And when you move up to that million plus dollar home, there's so many options that are out there for you. So it's a really good opportunity to cash in on that. Give us a call, shoot us a text, 619-663-SELL. Want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Whistle Weekends. We really appreciate the opportunity. Hopefully you guys got some value out of the show. Tyler Calcoast, Keith, Whistle Realty Group, thank you guys so much for joining us. Pleasure we'll talk to you guys Thanks. next week.